Why settle for mediocrity when you have the power to be a badass in your own life? Life is tough, and it's not always fair, but it's also a testing ground, a trial that's designed to make us stronger. The key to navigating through the challenges is cultivating an indestructible mental toolbox. I get it, life can throw some serious punches. I've been an underdog, facing situations where no one was coming to my rescue. There were no miracles, just me against the odds. It was a realization that everything, my past, my circumstances, was on me. So, I started building that mental toolbox, the most powerful weapon we carry, the mind. In the journey of self-discovery, I found that believing in a purpose, even in the face of adversity, is crucial. Every beatdown, every moment of torture, every instance of being bullied or feeling like I had no foundation, it all served a purpose. It led me to unlock the code of human potential. Now, I want to share that with you. I've created a powerful human being out of the scraps of my experiences. Pain, suffering, and failure became the building blocks of the person I am today, David Goggins. The turning point for me was being vulnerable, breaking myself down to rock bottom, and then rebuilding. I had to look people in the eyes and admit my character flaws, my lies, my insecurities. I had to confront the fact that the person I presented to the world wasn't the real me. But here's the thing, it's not your fault. The circumstances might not be your fault, but it becomes your responsibility to fix them. No one is coming to save you. It's on you to go back to where it started, face the challenges, and start fixing what broke you. The most significant fear I have is losing touch with the power of the human mind. Our mindset is the best thing in the world, and it can shape our reality. It's not about external gadgets or distractions, it's about what's within us. In those quiet moments, when there's no external help, you have to find energy within yourself. Make up games, create tricks, do whatever it takes to keep moving forward. We live in a world where our brains keep us in a comfortable box. But outside that box, on the edge of suffering, lies a world of endless opportunity. The fear of stepping outside that comfort zone holds many back. We're afraid of the discomfort, the unknown. Yet, beyond that box is where I found the most beautiful aspects of life. I was once 300 pounds, but I decided to climb out of my box. I discovered that on the other side was a wealth of possibilities waiting for me. It's about finding joy and glory in the midst of suffering, about taking control of your destiny. Life isn't about skipping forward to peace, it's about going through the pain and suffering to find peace. You have to go to war with yourself before you can find that peace. It's not an easy journey, it's uncomfortable, but it's necessary for growth. I hear a lot of talk these days, people telling you how to live, what to do, how to be happy. But what I don't hear enough of is the actual work. We need more action, less theory. I'm not just a theorist, I'm a practitioner. I've been in the trenches, putting my mind through hell and figuring out how to overcome it. I did 67,000 pull-ups in 9 months, not because I wanted big biceps, but to callous my mind. Just like callousing my hands protected them, I calloused my mind against the victim mentality. I learned that energy and strength aren't always external, you can find them within yourself. We have to stop judging ourselves against others. The woe is me mentality holds us back. It's time to focus on the race against yourself. Silence the outside interference, the comparisons, and start growing. The power lies in judging yourself against who you were yesterday. I get it, it's tempting to want to skip forward to peace, to cover the pain with a nice blanket, but that's not how it works. You have to go into the hell hole of life, face your demons, and fix what's broken. You must go to war with yourself before finding peace. I want to give you the tools to do that. It's not about smiling through the pain, it's about enduring a hard journey. You'll be very uncomfortable, but on the other side is a world of opportunity. I don't care where you come from, what tools you were born with. You don't need the greatest tools, you need the ability to grind yourself into a fine powder and then rebuild repeatedly. Always be willing to work, not just talk. 
in a world full of noise, be the one doing the work. Life isn't fair, and things won't always be easy, but don't fall into the trap of the woe-is-me mentality. Don't let external judgments corrupt your own dialogue. Create a vision for yourself and relentlessly pursue it. Be willing to work tirelessly to become the person you want to be. I started with the desire to live my life in a way that, when I die, I'm proud of myself. Not for external validation, but for my own satisfaction. I worked endlessly to impress the person in the mirror, to be the best version of myself. And you can do it too. If you weren't born mentally strong, it can be developed. In making that journey, though, you have to be true to yourself every day. Don't live someone else's dreams, live your own. Own yourself and embrace the ultimate power, owning your identity. So, leave a comment above describing what you want in life now. What are your goals, your ambitions? Let's start the journey of self-discovery and growth together. It's time to silence the external noise, go to war with yourself, and unlock the limitless potential within you. Don't settle for mediocrity, be a badass in your own life. Thank you. Before you go, help us by smashing that YouTube like button. And subscribe to this channel. So you won't miss any of our videos. This shows YouTube algorithm that you value our information. And it helps us spread the message. Sharing is caring.